day I will visit Tournai, one of the oldest cities in Belgium. Uh, back in uh, Roman times, it was called Tornacum. And uh, it uh, grew importance during the Middle Ages with the textile industry. So yeah, let's see what we can do there. Uh, finally on the train now. Whew. It's a lot better here. To be honest, I don't feel so good today because yesterday I got the first of my COVID vaccination shots. And uh, it feels like I'm a little bit having a hangover. So let's hope it will not bother me too much during this trip. So yeah, let's relax a little bit now. city in Belgium that was ever controlled by the English back in the period of uh, 15, 13 and 15 and 19. In this short period of time King Henry VIII from England um, gave the order to build this uh, tower here. It's the only building in Tournai still standing from that period of time. So yeah, like you can see now they're renovating the building. I think it will be really nice once the renovation is completed. So yeah, let's see what's more to do here. Nice little church here I came across. The Church of St. Nicholas looks very old. From the sign there, I think it's from the 13th century, yes. Yeah, it looks nice. I'm here at the beautiful Bridge of Holes, or at least what is left of it. It was a beautiful 13th century bridge and uh, now they broke it down because they want to allow bigger ships passing through the canal. Sometimes things like that are necessary. Uh, but of course it's sad when something nice like this disappears. Hopefully they will rebuild it after again. So yeah. Great weather today, ah, sunny, very nice, very nice view here as well. Yeah, it will be a nice day and this far not much problems with my Covid vaccine. <laughs> beautiful St. James Church here built at the site of a Romanesque chapel dating back to 1167 so yeah let's see maybe we can take a look inside but uh, it seems closed so let's see no also closed it's a shame but what can you do about it? So the current building of the church is from the 12th, late 12th century. And it appears to be really beautiful inside. But yeah, it's closed, so unfortunately.
the Klokval of Tournai is a remarkable Renaissance building built in 1610. Like you can see, it's this one here. Unfortunately, it collapsed in 1881, but it was rebuilt according to the original plans. Also, you cannot visit it because it's not open to the public, only during special events. So when you're in the area and you can go to some of these events, you for sure need to do it because the architecture inside is so beautiful. Yeah, really nice area here around the square with the belfry, which we will visit later on. And there are the towers of the cathedral. Yeah, very nice area. church here it's a beautiful Romanesque 12th century church like you can see here the existence of the church probably dates back to Gallo-Roman times when this place was a cemetery so yeah let's take a look inside now church but it has its charm so right now I'm at the main square in Tournai very nice area like you can see so let's explore this place a little bit back in the Second World War this place has faced many many destruction you have to know that uh, only a few facades of the buildings were still standing and all rest was destroyed by the German Air Force back in 1940. So they did a remarkable job rebuilding the area around the square. Very, very beautiful place here. So yeah, now let's go to the Belfry and see the city from the top. The Belfry here with its height of 72 meters. The construction of the Belfry began in 1188 and is actually the oldest Belfry in Belgium. So now uh, I will visit it and climb the 256 stairs to the top. I hope it will be fine because with my hangover from the vaccine <laughs> okay, we will see. <laughs> so here we are again. Climbing. The expositions are closed because of the COVID situation. You can see a little bit from here. Beautiful view here at the market square. I don't know if you can see it good. So yeah, let's do more climbing. Some of them are open apparently. Oh my God, look at this clock. I wonder how much this one weighs. I feel like Quasimodo now. I barely fit here. <laughs> but 
we have here. Uh, look how small it is. I can barely fit through. <laughs> uh, it's one of the. Uh, it's the clocks. I don't know if you can see it good. I don't see it so well, but here normally somebody's playing. Can we go up here? Probably we can. Put away my phone. Okay, let's go up. Oh my god, the mechanism. This would be no ID. So impressive. And here you can see the strings, but it's too dark. So you cannot see it, I guess. So I made it. Look at this view on the Notre Dame Cathedral. Very nice. So actually you have a 360 degree view over Tournai, look, the market square there, I always love places like this where you have a nice view over the city. downstairs again it wasn't such a hard climb it was fairly easy to be honest except at the top it was getting really small and for a person my size it's not that good but I still made it all the way there to go up it cost like five euros so it's not that much so let's see the cathedral now how impressive this is the size so one of the main sites in the city of Tournai is of course the Notre Dame Cathedral very impressive site if you stand next to it you feel really small so it's actually one of the largest churches in Belgium with a length of 134 meter very nice so let's see if we can visit it Museum of Tapestries and Fabric Art. It's this building over there. Inside you can find uh, a collection of uh, carpets from the 15th century. The golden age of uh, Tournai productions and also from the 16th century. So let's check it out I guess. So no tapestries apparently because it's closed. 
yeah then let's have a walk in the area then nothing better than eating in the park when it's such a nice weather beautiful park here and this is my food it's healthy for a change because I try to lose weight and uh, yeah I feel a lot better now actually since I start eating more healthy so no waffles this time <laughs> the Queen Astrid Park here nice little park in Tournai nice to have a short walk in the city beautiful area as well had my lunch there on the bench a little bit earlier so yeah now we're gonna see that what's there at the top I think it's some sort of museum so let's check it out the natural history museum and Tournai is actually the oldest one in Belgium to be open to the public it was founded in 1828 and uh, it's actually quite nice it's a small one but absolutely worth checking out and also we have the Museum of Fine Arts which has a nice collection of paintings and sculptures and it's over here so if you want you can visit this one as well So it's a nice area with all the museums next to each other but I'm here for a short time so I will not visit any of them. So on my way to the Citadel now I think it will be closed but yeah we will see. Here we have uh, the Citadel of Tournai it's actually now an active military property so we cannot go there um, but uh, there is an option to go there in summer then they have a few group tours when you can visit the Citadel but not much is left from it as most was demolized but yeah it's uh, also something nice to do if you're here in summer I just came across this very nice street art take a look beautiful right so nice So we're now here at the St. Bryce Church and uh, we will go take a look inside, I guess. Just across the church we have these beautiful Roman houses. Look at this. Very nice, right? They're actually one of the oldest uh, houses in Western Europe in this style. And like you can see here, they're from 1172, 1200s. So really old, really beautiful. I love these things another old mansion here I think this one is from the 1500s yeah oh look a kitty on the roof Yeah, I had a nice time here today. It was a short one, but uh, I had a nice time. 
good weather so what you need more to be honest I want to make a longer video but uh, my headache is getting worse after the vaccine I got so I think I will cut it short now so this was it for my trip to Tournai I hope you guys enjoyed it see you next time cheers